Notes Plus 3 has a completely redesigned toolbar that's entirely focused on making note-taking as easy as possible. When your iPad is in portrait mode, the toolbar takes up just 60 pixels at the top of the screen, giving you more room for your notes. Just tap on the toolbar buttons to change between input modes, change line styles, or turn pages in your notebook. The buttons on the right let you switch between the app's input modes. The pen is the default smart mode that lets you write and draw with your finger or a stylus. The T is text input mode. This lets you type as if you were using a word processor. And the gray box is an eraser, which you can use to remove handwritten lines without changing text, images, or shapes. Notes Plus doesn't sacrifice power or flexibility with its minimal toolbar. Each of the buttons contains a circular chooser menu that lets you change its function. Just tap and hold on one of the buttons to see a quick access menu pop up, giving you more input or style options. The mode buttons can be used to select a hand tool for moving around your notes without changing them, and a text box tool that lets you add text to a specific point on the page. Slide your finger to the option you want, then release. This system gives you easy access to up to seven options per button, turning that 60 pixel strip at the top of Notes Plus into a powerful tool. If you look at the toolbar, you'll see that you've actually changed the function of one of the buttons from eraser to text box by selecting text box. You'll also see that the line style buttons in the middle have now changed to text style buttons. Many of the buttons in Notes Plus work this way to show you only what you need and let you customize the app to fit your exact note-taking style. The same tap and slide gesture lets you change styles using the middle buttons. You'll see that you can easily have two colors or thicknesses and a highlighter just a touch away. If you want to customize your choices, just tap the palette button to easily set up whatever tools you need. And the far right button is a combined undo and redo button. Tap once to undo your action, or tap and hold for a choice of undo or redo. The app's toolbar works the same way in landscape mode, but the extra width gives you three more style buttons and one extra mode button for even more options. Sometimes though, you just want to write. To maximize the amount of note taking space, just tap the double arrow in the corner of the notes page to enter full screen mode. You still have access to the Notes Plus palm pad that'll let you rest your hand on the screen while you write, but all you have to look at is your notes. Back in standard mode, you'll see a thin silver bar on the left-hand side of the screen. Swipe from left to right across that bar, and you'll see even more options appear. At the top, there's a button that opens the Notes Plus Organize pane, where you can rearrange, move, and rename notebooks and pages. Below that is a record button that will start the app's audio recorder and attach the recordings to your notebook's pages. Near the bottom, you'll find one tap access to the help file and a button for changing app settings to fine tune your note taking experience. If you move the silver bar further to the right, you'll switch to the Notes Plus browser pane. Here, you can browse the web for information to add to your notes. Use the standard web address bar at the top where you can type a URL or move forward and backward through your pages. If you find something you'd like to clip to your notes, either tap the scissors button on the right and select a part of the page, or just tap and hold on an image and flick it to your notes. You can then switch back to the notes pane to scale and place your image. Notes Plus has a powerful interface that lets you work the way you want to without getting in the way or taking up valuable note-taking space. For more tutorial videos and other support, visit notesplusapp.com.